Okay, so I'm only doing this video uh, real quick because I just wanted to, someone was asking for this tracker that I use on Excel. It's it's super basic. Uh, I just want to show how I use it uh, mainly because um, you, you do have to fiddle with it. It's not going to be some kind of automatic thing. Uh, this is just a way for me to, it's easy for me to keep track of trades and the things that I care about as far as my trading goes. So um, I'll, go, I'll get right into it. Basically, uh, I like to keep an, uh, a track. You don't have to do this. So this is gonna, I'm going to send this link out. It's going to be completely editable. Um, you guys, uh, you can change this. But this is how I do it. I always like to know what the, the thesis is behind a trade so I can kind of keep track of good ideas versus bad ones. Uh, you know, every week. I do. I, this is for my week. And then uh, I can always look back and see, you know, how I'm progressing as far as my trading goes. Uh, am I making good decisions? So I, I keep this here and I just kind of throw in something that would trigger my memory as to why I took the trade in the first place. What was the idea behind it? So um, obviously you can see what the idea was here. This is my current positions right now. So as of as of now. Um, so, okay, so going on and then trade instrument, you know, you can name this whatever you want. I just, I just threw this together literally in like 10 minutes. Um, and then it's kind of morphed to this uh, so I, I you know snap 50 calls 12 1204 so um, and I'll just you know I'll end up with 15 20 trades by the end of the week a um, bunch of different ideas uh, per contract I you know paid 60 cents per contract how many contracts you just put that in there it's gonna total it up 9.6 now what's what this tracker is doing is it's keeping track of how much money am I churning through in a, in a given week um, that's what the risk churn is like how much how much did I put at risk uh, I want to know uh, you know a grand total uh, so that I can tell how much money am I using to generate you know profit um, you know so like last week I, I used about you know ten thousand dollars total I mean I never had that much in a position or in the market at one time and I'll talk about that next but uh, I you know I just wanted to know how much money did I put at risk and then what was my return on that money that was used um, so that's the risk turn so that's just basically going to be summing up this entire column here okay and then I use the current risk so current risk is just this cell here um, and then as I close trades out I just come in here to uh, you know equals it's going to be equals this cell and then I subtract out I subtract out that trade so if I close snap I'm gonna I'm gonna subtract out you know once I close it I'll subtract it out and I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna make it red so that way I know it's closed and I'm looking I'm looking at the screen I see that's closed and then I see my current risk that's in the market right now and I never really like that to get over a thousand now it's just me a lot of people are gonna guys out there probably trading with a lot more money but um, there's gonna be some of you out there with smaller accounts too so uh, this is a good way for you to keep your mindset and your emotions in check because um, five or six months ago I would just have an entire account in the market just because I had so many ideas and I, I didn't have any kind of parameters on what I would buy you no know, risk level um, you know so I always start with that so if, if I'm at a thousand dollars if in the market with options I'm done. I'm not going to take any other trades unless I can close another one out. So um, that's my maximum as far as weeklies. If I'm doing leaps or you know going out two or three weeks, I'm okay having more than that. I'm 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 okay with that. That's going to be my risk level. Um, you can set that to whatever you want. So you know just whatever this number ends up being. If I end up taking a trade here on you know Tesla, so let's just put Tesla 600 calls in there for you know one. I don't know what 119 I think for next year so if I buy a leap and it's uh, you know per contract it's 30 bucks and I buy one you see that's gonna adjust it here so I've put 4k into the market 40 times 100 and then but right now I only have three thousand dollars in the market am I okay with that um, and as soon as I close that trade out I come in here and I'll close it out that's just how I do it I just I, I subtract it out of there now I'm back to just having this really crappy GM lotto. We'll see if it's crappy. I think it's crappy and I shouldn't have done it, but hopefully maybe I can just close it out break even and forget about it. That's only 70 bucks worth, so 
I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that goes to a dollar. Who knows? Okay. So, um, and then basically, if I if I do close out a green trade, I, I just just make it green. And <clears throat> so this is where you can kind of keep track of uh, your profit and loss if you just put the current price of the contract in there. So right now I still have these two open. And the current price right now that it closed at was like 0 0.5A, 0 0.54 or something. I don't remember. I think it's 0.5A is why I put it in there. And then um, the current price of that contract there was 0 0.05. You know, and I'll just update them as, as time goes on. If I start seeing this go to one, you know, and I'm okay with profit there, if that goes to one and I'm making 620 bucks to start the week off, it's gonna give me quite a bit of, of ammo for the for the trades for the rest of the week so I'd probably be okay with that I'd be obviously happy if it went to three you know but and you can see the adjustment here so this is gonna also track up here the gain on your risk churn so how much money did you risk for the week and then what was your gain on that money um, so if if I come in here and this thing opens at if these open at three which they're not going to but if they did you know and, and I just close them out. I risk a thousand bucks to make thirty eight hundred. So that's pretty good. I'd probably just stop at that point. Maybe take some really small lottos, uh, just to, maybe down to like three thousand. But this kind of keeps my uh, mentality in check by, you know, seeing the progress, seeing my profit and loss. Uh, I don't pay attention to it that much. I just, you know, as the day's progressing, as the themes are changing, as news is happening, as the market's doing stuff. Um, I'll look at it, see what the, see what my trades look like. Um, so this one, you know, like I said, is 0.58, and then this is just the rewards. This is just showing you basically what you ended up getting paid out in the end. And a lot of times it's going to be zero. Uh, just expect it, expect it, and that helps you um, adjust your risk when you're going in. So uh, if you have a hundred thousand dollar account and you're you are just going to cry like a baby if you lose a thousand bucks. That should be your risk. That should be your total risk for the market right here. So I'm gonna put this link out in the description. It's a shareable Google Doc. Uh, you know, basically, you know, use it or copy it into your own Excel spreadsheet, mess around with it. Um, oh, this column right here is going to uh, give you the, uh, just the percentage return. So um, I don't know, you can just leave that as is. And then I, I have my average per day. I've got this calculated in a different set of um, cells. So you don't necessarily need to use this. Uh, and then this is just gonna show you the dollar amount. And the reason I did that was um, because I don't, uh, I like to look at the dollar. I don't like looking at 52 cents. So psychologically for me, 52 bucks sounds a lot better. So um, I just I just converted that. So that's just all that is. You can mess around with that as well. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions on it, just let me know. Like, subscribe.